up you guys it's Allison welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you guys a little glimpse into my blog planner or my business planner is more what I call it um, I asked over on Instagram if any of you guys would be interested in seeing how I'm using this and a lot of you guys said that you totally wanted to see it so I thought it would be a good time to make a little video on how I use this um, how I used it for January what I'm changing for February that sort of thing so we're gonna take a look at this before we get started I am really sorry about the furnace noise in the background um, usually I turn it off or try to when I film um, but it is snowing super hard and I don't want the house to get cold it's really cold and it's really snowy so sorry for that noise hopefully it's not too annoying um, so let's just get into this video this is the Erin Condren deluxe monthly planner um, I put my own sticker on the front of this cover I love this cover um, I got this cover from the deluxe monthly planner bundle which is still available on the Erin Condren website I will link it down below it was on sale still last time I checked so definitely go check that out if you want to get a planner like this for yourself um, but I just love this so let's go ahead and just get right into it um, so financial flamingos my business I have that in the front cute quote pages and then I have the year to glance. So what I've been doing with this is first off, I have this little key. I will show you guys. So this is kind of like a color key on my yearly expenses for my business, just so I can keep track of what month they're gonna be in. So I have that in here and you can see the color coordinated dots. Um, I have been tracking my posts. So I have one, you probably can't tell, but I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. These are two different colors is what I'm trying to show you. So um, you cannot see that at all, I don't think. Um, these are rose gold and these are gold. Um, the rose gold is a blog post and the gold is a video. And I'm really just kind of doing this for myself to keep track of how often I post and um, how consistent I was with my content schedule. So that's really just kind of like for me, it's not like planning ahead or anything. It's kind of just like staying on top of things. So that is how I use this calendar. Then I have these pages, which I just use to track my monthly numbers, which obviously I haven't put in January yet. So I need to update that, but I did update it somewhere else in the planner. So I can just transfer those numbers over to here. Um, that's how I use this. I'm going to use it just so I can get kind of an idea of how things have gone throughout the year and just have a year at a glance of um, the growth of my business. Then we have um, the January pages. So I should have said this in the beginning of the video. Um, if you are new to my channel, my business is Financial Flamingo. It involves my website, my YouTube channel, um, and I have a printable shop as well that is run off my website. So this planner is used to plan my YouTube content and my blog posts. And then I use it to also sort of keep track of everything else to do with my business in a way um, but this is mainly a content calendar so I'll show you how I ended up using this for January and what I'm changing for February so first off you can see didn't really use this page um, I put my goals here but I don't look at this um, I didn't use it in January it wasn't very helpful um, going forward I'm gonna use this as like a check-in page so I'm gonna put my goals at the top and then I'm going to put a space to put updates on my goals, how I did during the month. Um, so I put the goals at the beginning of the month and then updates at the end of the month. And then I want to make stickers down here to put in my numbers so that I can compare month to month what my numbers were um, also within the month. I know that's kind of redundant of the page I just showed you guys, but it'll just be a nice, nice little monthly check-in. Um, this is my color coding key for my content planner in the monthly view that I have memorized and don't really use. So it's probably just gonna stay right there. Um, okay, so January, these are the main pages that I use. So um, you can see on this page, I did put my goals in, I put my priorities for the month, I put what I need to do for my website, I put in my income, which I, again, did not update for the end of the month yet. Um, so 
This page works really well for me. You can see I checked things off, took things off my list, hit all my goals, um, did most of the things for my website, and these are just like overall maintenance type things. Um, so this has been really helpful to kind of like keep my mind on what I actually need to be doing. This is my favorite page. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom you guys in on this just a little bit. So this is my content tracking page. So it ties in with the monthly calendar that we're gonna look at in a second, but this is just where I track how I've done with uploading my content. So you can see week one, week two, week three corresponds with the calendar that I'll show you. Um, I have like this checklist system. So these stand for create, edit, images, publish. So as I do those things for each piece of content, I check them off. So the blue is blog post, the turquoise or green color is um, videos, and then obviously social media, my newsletter each week. So as I do things and get certain pieces of them done, I check them off. This is super satisfying to look at, honestly, and it definitely keeps me on track on where I am with stuff, what I have done, what I've started, all that good stuff. So this page has been a huge, huge help for me. I really love setting this up. Um, so that page, as I said, ties into the monthly calendar. And I've shared this calendar a little bit over on Instagram, so you may have seen it just a little bit, but I do, again, have a color coding system here. Um, the light blue is blog posts, the dark blue is videos, newsletters are in the pink red color, and then I just put stickers in for important milestones. Um, I use this in conjunction with this page because usually I plan my content on this spread. So like I'll show you March, there are sticky notes everywhere for post ideas. Um, once I solidify it and put it in here, then I highlight whatever color it is for whatever it is. And then once I get stuff done, I just check it off. So that means like when I get a check mark here, that means all of the steps here have check marks and is done. So that has worked out really well for me. Um, it just helps me visually see at a glance what I need to do for the month, whether I'm on track. So this has been really, really helpful for keeping me on top of my content. Um, the rest of the notes pages, honestly, I don't have great ideas for. I've really just been using them as like a to-do list. Um, so if you guys have any ideas on how I can use these pages for planning my content and that sort of thing, um, definitely let me know in the comments. I would be very interested to see what you guys' ideas are for that. Um, so you can see for February, I haven't done this page yet. I wanna create some stickers to lay out this page. So again, I said I was gonna do goals, do updates on goals, and then do my numbers check-in at the bottom. You can see in February, I don't wanna show too much because I don't wanna give away all my content, but um, I have all my content laid out um, and I've already got some stuff done. I have my goals, I have my priorities, I have all of the normal things um, in this portion to keep me on track with website maintenance. Got my whole content calendar planned, and then again, I don't, I just use these as a to-do list right now, so if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. Um, other than that, the way I use this planner, I have my goals in the back. Um, I have kind of like a layout of what I need to get done for the year. So like when I need to talk about certain topics to optimize for SEO, um, when, how many posts I wanna do each month, when, just kind of like a mental or visual, I guess, idea of when I need to do stuff. Um, and then finally, I have blog milestones here. So these are things that whenever I hit them, I have to stop and celebrate these things because I am horrible about like, oh yeah, I hit it and then just power on to the next thing, you know? So um, when I hit these things, I have to stop and enjoy it. So really exciting. Um, I actually get to check one of these off, which there will be a video on very soon, but I did hit this goal. I, I never really believed in manifesting things really. Um, until I started this business because I wrote this down last month at the beginning of last month and then I did it. So that is crazy to me. Um, so we're working on all these things. 
Other than that, I have some checklists on how like all my steps for writing a blog post, my schedule for my social media that I don't quite follow anymore because I've changed my layout, but um, it kind of just gives me a a place to write down what I need to post on social media so I don't just have to just like let me pick this photo that has nothing to do with anything so it's just kind of a schedule that's just things I want to get for my business which I already have those and then that's all I have in here then I have my numbers tracking all of my numbers on a monthly basis so I did update this for January except for my email, I need to look that up. And then in the back here, I did start tracking my income and expenses, um, but I'm probably not going to keep doing this because I've started using QuickBooks just because since I hit $1,000 and I'm making profit now, and I am an, a CPA, so I know how to use QuickBooks online, so that's what I've decided to use. Now that I have a little extra income to pay for a little bit more of monthly expenses, that just, I could do all the accounting myself, but really it just, is easier and quicker to do it in QuickBooks. So that's what I'm gonna do. That is all that is back here. So again, if you guys have any ideas for trackers or um, anything that is helpful in your blog or your business or your YouTube channel to keep track of, definitely let me know. I would love some more ideas on things to track. Um, this planner, like I said, has been so helpful in January on staying top of my content. January was a really, really good month for me in terms of um, income and in getting good content out and content that you guys actually want to see, hopefully. So um, this has been really helpful and I am definitely going to keep doing this, especially this page going forward. This has been great. So um, that is really just how I use my business planner. So again, if you guys have any ideas, leave them down below in the comments. I will link this planner. I will link the Erin Condren bundle and any other of my favorite products or products that I use for this planner. I will link in the description box as well as all my social media and my website. Um, so you guys can go check that out if you want to. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I make new videos about like productivity, budgeting, finances, all that good stuff at least every Saturday, usually Saturday and Tuesday. Um, but yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see my business planner and I will see you in the next video. Bye.